Thank you. And here's going to be a live look as Hurricane Helene heads towards Florida. You can see the waves crashing in the Panama City. Local utility crews are headed south right now, preparing to help with the power outages that are expected with this storm. Today, WDRB's Darby Bean shows us several linemen from Indiana are ready to answer the call. There's more than three dozen linemen from the REMC co-ops across Indiana headed to Georgia. Four of them are from here in Clark County. These crews from across the Hoosier state gathered in Sellersburg for safety talks and a prayer before heading to their trucks to start the trip to Cobb County, Georgia, not far from Atlanta. The reason for this trip is Hurricane Helene. We want to make sure that we are assisting those in need. Clark County REMC says the commitment for this work isn't just from the linemen, but their families back here at home. Their families are committing at the same point that you know, we're going to send our loved one off into this territory that is a uh, little unknown at this point. Experts say Helene could cause a catastrophic storm surge with significant damage hundreds of miles inland. Depending on what happens, these crews could stay in Georgia or move to Florida wherever there's a need. Duke Energy says it already sent crews to Florida. From Indiana, that includes a group of about 80 employees and 100 support contractors. LG&E says it's not making the call to send crews just yet, saying for now they're staying here in case of any power outages and monitoring the forecast. Both Duke and Clark County REMC say they're also keeping several crews at home to be prepared as well. We have everything ready to go when that storm does roll through. Adding the work they do every day translates to being ready for storms. In our daily work, we practice the same safety rules and safety procedures that we'll have to face in this type of event so that it's more natural. It's too soon to tell exactly how long these crews will need to stay there to help out. Estimates are at least a week. Reporting with photojournalist Jeff Gordon, Darby Bean, WDRP News.